Hi, everyone. Welcome to Forbes Newsroom. I'm Diane Brady, and I'm with Jemima McAvoy, my colleague who has been tracking Alex Jones and his wealth. And the question, of course, with this massive $1 billion judgment against him, um, how likely is he to pay and what assets does he have? Tell us about the actual wealth of Alex Jones. Yeah, so we took a look at Alex Jones's uh, wealth, and it's very unlikely that he has anywhere close to a billion dollars. Um, so what is likely going to happen is that his personal assets will be seized um, as part of the judgment collection process. Um, the main asset that we found tied to him, aside from his company, which I'll get into in a second, is his real estate portfolio. He owns five different homes in Austin, Texas, and they're worth collectively about $7.5 million. So uh, he probably will lose those homes unless he wins in uh, bankruptcy filing. And none of those are his primary residence, right? Is that an important uh, distinguishing factor that he gets a place to live, but everything else is fair game? Yeah, so he's based in Texas. All those homes are in Texas, and Texas has very liberal homestead protection laws, meaning that um, you c the court will likely not be able to seize all of those properties, you know, his main home. They don't want um, a person to become homeless. So he probably won't lose all of them, but likely one or two will be protected by Texas's laws. Otherwise, you know, they're all up for grabs. And talk about this bankruptcy. I know there's obviously some discussion as to how assets are moving back and forth, how much money he actually has. Let's start with the fact that he says that a lot of um, this will never be paid out because it's going to be locked up in court with appeals for years, if not decades to come. Is that true? Yeah, it's likely true that nobody is going to see any money anytime soon. Um, the reason being that he has the option to file for personal bankruptcy. He's already filed for bankruptcy for his business, Infowars, claiming that you know they are in a lot of debt and um, so that could be liquidated in the end. But if he files for personal bankruptcy, a court has to assess his claim. And if they decide that his defamation and his actions were egregious enough, then he won't have his debts forgiven and he'll still have to pay up. And the legal experts I've spoken to have said that that's likely going to be the outcome, that he won't you know, get all of his debts um, dismissed because what he did was bad enough. And, and for those who are planning to donate, I know he's going to have a marathon. He's now asking, going to donors specifically to help him defend against this. Can that money also be used for the, the victims of, um, you know, the victims, excuse me, the families of the victims from Sandy Hook? If you're donating money to Alex Jones, that money may end up going to the plaintiffs? Eventually, maybe. I think it's um, if you're wanting to help the victims, uh, the families of the victims, and that's probably not the best way to go about it, because as we discussed, it's probably going to take years for this money to get to um, to get to the families. And Alex Jones is doing everything he can to obscure that. Um, something he did earlier this year is he transferred ownership of one of his properties to his wife, his his main house, which is worth more than three million dollars. Um, seemingly in an attempt to, you know, obscure it from the courts. Um, but a legal experts say that that probably won't get past, um, you know, the courts and they'll probably end up seizing that home too. So, um, yeah, I'm, I, I wouldn't say that it will, will end up with the families anytime soon, that money that's given to the fundraisers. And if, you, if you're giving your mind to Alex Jones, he may not have control over how that money's used. But one of the uh, analogies um, I think about is this is something that could haunt him for life, right? And is that uh, O.J. Simpson, I know, is a name that's come up. How likely is that a good, uh, you know, lesson, really, or model for how this is going to play out? Yeah, it's, it's a very um, accurate comparison, but... This is, you know, way more extreme than the amount that um, O.J. Simpson owed. Um, this is definitely something that's going to haunt him for the rest of his life, unless um, one of his appeals is successful. If not, then he has to keep paying until he, he can't anymore. And it's, you know, pretty likely in a lot of these cases that the money will never be recuperated in its entirety. But he's it's a life sentence, you know but also that he will never be 
an extremely rich man because, like OJ, his future earnings will be docked in essence to pay off this judgment. Yeah, exactly. Great. Thanks very much, Jemima.